Another issue you might encounter is the fence itself. And I don't know if it's, this is just when it gets cold or what, but my fence here. It's like hell to close. So pretty much um, when I'm opening the gate, I have to kind of pick it up to get it up off the ground. So it's pretty cold. As you can see, got my mask on and I got two jackets on. Got another jacket on the here. But um, I found this uh, gate wheel at Home Depot and I had some um, some old bolts left over from the shifter that I took out of the prelude. I had these rubber, um, I'm going to put these rubber on the end here for um, to absorb the vibration when you pull the gate back and forth. Um, one end is at 12 and the other end here is a uh, 13. So I'm going to um, try to install this here. And um, all right guys, so after a few days of deliberating, I uh, started this project on Thursday, Sunday now. I uh, finally stopped being cheap and went out and spent some money. So I had to buy the, uh, a set, a drill, another drill, uh, drill bit set here which I uh, necessarily didn't want to do, but um, I, I couldn't be cheap and mess the job up. Also, just the regular size bolts wasn't working, so I had to dig through my, uh, it took me a few days of digging through my old sets of nuts and bolts to find some some uh, screws that was, uh, some, some bolts that was long enough um, to fit the fence here. So on the fence here that I wanted to put the, the wheel on, the issue I was having was where I wanted to place the wheel itself, it wouldn't fit. As you can see here, I wanted to put it somewhere like right here. And I was having issues because it wouldn't sit flush. I couldn't either get, the holes wouldn't line up with either up here, if I did, the wheels would be off the ground. And if I put the wheels on the ground, one bolt hole would be here. So I had to put it here where it's a, a double, where it's a double bolt with, with double pieces of board, which I was quite fine with because that means the wheel itself would hold a lot more sturdy. Now, the other issue, the, one of the, the other issue I had was finding a bolt that was gonna be long enough to fit through here through the, the wheel itself fit through this piece of board and this piece so after digging for a few days I finally found a bolt long enough and I'm gonna be using some washers on here so I wanted to have it um, where it would go straight through the, the two bolts bold boards so I would put it like here now and it's gonna like I said it's gonna support the fence itself from um, tilting down so I'm gonna have to Put this wheel on here and get my little marker. Unfortunately, I can't do it with uh, one hand. So I'm going to mark the uh, the holes out here where I'm going to put the um, drill the hole. I'm going to drill mark it out here with the marker and um, get these get this thing bolted out. I'm thinking about um, we're marking it because this uh, this wheel itself it the it has it's spring is spring rated. So I'm thinking about uh getting making the holes a little bit below below where the uh drilling the hole itself a little bit below where i mark it to kind of put some pressure on the wheel itself so it's going to al always be on the load um that way it can it, it'll constantly push the fence itself up so it can roll it can roll when i open this gate so i'm going to mark this thing out and um start getting it um uh, operated if you guys have any questions always you can always leave a comment in the section um in the comment section below um bear with me it's really cold out here um but um reason i like to do these videos is it motivates me to uh to get up off my butt and do um do some work all right so i've selected a drill bit that i, I think is going to be big enough and what i did was i just kind of made sure it fits right through the hole um and then now once i've got everything set up i'm just going to mark the holes out and um start getting the drilling
All right, so now I've gotten the, the bolts through. Not all the way, as you can see, it's still on an angle. I'm gonna start tightening up these bolts here with my uh, wrenches. And if need be, I'll probably put these washers in. I really, I'm um, not washers, these rubber. I really wanted to because they would take a lot of the vibrations out, which would, uh, the vibrations cause the uh, bolts to loosen up over time. But I'm gonna um, try to tighten this thing in and, and um, see how it goes first. This is kind of like a test fit and if it works, I'm not pulling it back apart. As you can see that wheel, the, the leg itself is coming in as I'm tightening. And let's do the top one. All right, I have to go and get a, a ratchet. So I'm 14 on the other on the back end, 13 to hold it. And tighten this thing in. Like I said, you want to make the holes, you want to drill the holes a little bit lower than where you mark them just so that wheel can be on the tension. And then, with this, just tighten them up. All right. So you can see we have a problem here. It's hitting on there. So... What I'm gonna have to do is now cut this off or cut this out the way so I can close. But cut it out right there with this jigsaw. Uh my my good friend loaned me for a very long time. So, with that little notch, notch cut out, gate is locked. Now granted, this thing is not perfect, and like I said, it's the cold weather. But I wanted to hurry up and put this, uh, this wheel on the gate, so it, it helps to stop from, from tilting. Or it supports it a little bit. So, um, not, not exactly how I wanted it to come out. Alright, now that I've gotten the, the, the wheel installed, it makes opening and closing the, the gate so much better you just push it closes and for the back piece I with the bolts um, with the bolts I, I just kind of use some rubber in between like I was saying to kind of take some of the vibration um, the, the one of the problems with this gate it, it it swells the wood swells when it gets real cold I, or something happens to the wood when it gets real cold and it gives it hell for it to open but for the most part with the wheel on there it just i mean it, it it's make a it made a lot of difference and this is this this wheel is spring loaded so it'll it'll kind of uh it'll operate like a, a, a car suspension where it goes up and down but it just makes everything just that much easier Wow, perfect.